So here in the Locomotion and Biomechanics Lab, we work on building walking robots, uh, specifically with the goal of making them both more efficient and less likely to fall down, so more robust in their walking. So a lot of what we try to do with the robot here is to accomplish the, the basic dynamics of human walking without necessarily mimicking the human structure. So I'm very excited to have this active collaboration with, with the team at Ohio State. There are actually two projects at Ohio State with the, the spinal cord population. And one is primarily focused on rehabilitating their use of their hips. How we use our hips to absorb energy with each step. And that's an area in which these folks have some persistent deficits even after long therapy. The second part of the project is to look at rehabilitating use of the knee for the same purposes. Individuals with spinal cord injury often have difficulty with that initial flexion of the knee early on when their foot hits the ground. And that means they expend more energy in walking and can't walk as fast. The idea of the downhill treadmill is to give them practical experience to focus on absorbing energy at the knee, letting that knee flex a little bit when the foot touches down. We don't want these folks to just get better on the treadmill. Uh, all of our metrics of success are measured in overground walking that they would do in the community, in their home, with their families, looking to improve their quality of life. A huge advantage that, that Jim has, he can control the magnitude of the change, um, so he can make tiny changes and see what the impact of that is. He can do it quick, and sometimes even tiny changes will make the robot fall, and we will never do that in patients or, or participants, human subjects that are participating in our research. We're just, we're not, we're not able to let that level of failure happen. With the flat training, I got a lot back, but as I've gotten back on this to decline, it uh, seems to have gotten my hips in better control a lot faster. And the differences started occurring relatively early within the training. I'd say after six, eight sessions, I'm really noticing differences. And I'm not gonna lie to anybody, walking is lightweight painful for me. It's a double-edged sword. I gotta do it, because I don't wanna sit still. And I feel a lot better when after I do it. So when I see them be able to move their legs independently um, on the treadmill in new ways and in ways that are more normal, it is, it gives me chills. And some of the people that we've had in this experiment, and we've only done a few cases so far, have demonstrated things to me I've never seen in my whole career as a physical therapist. These are people who have overcome tremendous hardship with their spinal cord injury and are incredibly positive about their recovery and willing to, to try and to work hard um, and to help us learn. And, and we think it's benefiting them and they're certain that even if it doesn't benefit them, it will benefit someone else. And so that's been absolutely inspirational for me. I'm just thankful to be a part of everything and uh, anything I can do to get to the cure of this problem, I'm willing to help. And, uh, I'm just glad you guys believe in me because if you guys didn't believe in me, who would? <laughs>